Hey, so just like in the previous tutorial, which you may not have watched, um, this this database is pretty discipline specific. Not pretty, it is discipline specific to uh, computer engineering and electrical engineering, more heavily on the computer engineering side of things. It's called the Association uh, for Computing Machinery Journals. Catchy, catchy title, right? Anyhow, we're going to take a look at that clicking on Article Databases, A for Association, and then scroll way down, fairly close to the very, very end, and here we go. Association for Computing Machinery. This database is full text, so yay. Before I jump into a basic search, which you all know how to do, I did want to point out something that we've never talked bef about before, or at least I have not talked about it with you before. Um, most databases have this capability, but I have n not yet highlighted it. I think it's really well laid out in this particular database, though. If you're looking at the main page here, before you get into the search box in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that right below the advanced search options, you've got tons of browsing options. You can browse by publication title, by special interest groups, conferences, special collections. That sounds very library-ish. Um, certain professional organizations, by document types. Look at all these document types. Books, periodicals, of course, means journals, conference proceedings, theses, which are written by um, master's candidates, reports, RFCs, or you could browse by publisher, or they even have their own classification system, which is really cool. Um, but if you're not exactly sure on the focus of your research project, this is a good place to hang out and take a look. I would totally recommend even if you do know what your topic is, searching the proceedings, because proceedings publish more frequently um, the, the really cutting edge up-to-date information because it hasn't yet undergone um, a really involved peer review process. I'm sure it has had some process, like some editorial process. I'm just not exactly certain what it is. Anyway, these are really cool because you can select any of these options and there are apparently a bazillion different proceedings. Look at that. Amazing. I hope that didn't make you very, very dizzy. Um, but once you do, like this one, look at that. Information about the publication itself, author info, source materials, table of contents even really cool, I think. Um, if you don't click on a particular uh, proceedings print, you can click on a heading and look at that. It gives you this really cool tag cloud that tells you what some of the big topics are. So that's nice. And it even shows you the top 10 downloaded articles, top 10 most cited articles. What a good database, right? Computer engineering and electrical engineering folks. This is such a cool database. So I'm going to do a search for sustainability, well, sustain asterisk, so all other word endings for sustain, so sustainability, sustainable development, like I've said before. And let's look at storage. Why not? And look at that, 1,400 results. Again, left-hand margin here gives you some refinement tools. And this is all going to be full text. So easy does it, right? Um, you, these are the, the total search results, but you can look at related journals, related magazines, um, SIGs. Let's look at those. Remember, special interest groups. So those are like nonprofit organizations slash professional organizations. Uh, and then related conferences. So this is very, very interesting, the layout. You computer folks, you know how to organize, am I right? And that's it. That's the ACM database. Easy peasy.